Hi, I'm Jared Hillam. Data science. Few words conjure up such mystical expectations like data science. This is particularly due to the calculation complexity to answer questions like, how many cocoa bean futures should I order if Brazil experiences a drought? Actually walking people through the mathematics to answer a question like this is immediately intimidating to nearly every business person in the world. But if we put that complexity aside for a second, answering questions like these can be incredibly powerful. There are individuals and companies that have briefly cornered markets with this kind of information. So if your organization is not engaged or at least evaluating data science opportunities, you may be missing a huge win. But how do you know where these opportunities are and how to solve them? In this video, I'm going to describe two kinds of data science strategies which can help you develop answers to some of your more complex questions. The first strategy is something I call top-down modeling. In top-down modeling, a data scientist is leveraging tuned algorithms and statistics which have known success rates to assemble answers to specific questions. For example, there's an amazing predictor of aggregated human behavior called the Pareto Principle. Now, the Pareto Principle alone is just a mere concept. It's a model in a toolbox. And if you want to know more about the Pareto Principle, I recommend you check out a great video posted by Vsauce called The Ziff Mystery. Anyway, it's only when you marry the Pareto models with other models that we're able to come up with some pretty remarkable things. For example, Intricity has a data science as a service offering where you can upload your customer transactions and we can literally tell you which of your return shoppers are most likely to become loyal and how many times a specific customer is likely to shop with you next month with 90 plus percent accuracy. Now, the math behind that would make a Russian statistician oh. blush. But you can see that the real magic in data science is usually in knowing how to assemble the mathematical models to accurately describe an outcome. And that brings us to our second data science strategy, which is called machine learning. In machine learning, we're having a machine do bottom-up modeling by starting with the data, then programming a goal, and allowing it to iterate between positive and negative results while it tunes the model. The outcome of machine learning is a statistical model that may have very complex relationships with a lot of branches or connections between entities. And the more data we pump through the model, the stronger the accuracy becomes. But don't get bedazzled here by the machine autonomy. There is still a ton of human intervention in coding the right learning paradigm to ensure correct classification, tuning the parameters, skewing for outliers, adding features in the data, etc. The more elaborate and productionized data science deployments actually use a mix of both top-down and bottom-up strategies. The top-down approach saves a lot of wasted processing power by efficiently applying well-tested models against the data. This in turn scales the machine learning platform by minimizing the classifications it has to model for right out of the gate. One common misconception that people have after receiving the resulting data from certain data science efforts has to do with data attributes. For example, when we show the Intricity customer scoring results, it's not uncommon for people to say, well, but I wanted to see it by zip code or by ad campaign. Whenever you say the words, I want to see it by, you're actually talking about an attribute of the data, which can be very easily applied at the analysis level. However, it requires your data science team to have a savvy relationship with your data warehousing and business intelligence teams. And this is where Intricity's unique sweet spot is. We can integrate the sometimes disparate efforts of a wide variety of disciplines into a cohesive strategy. I recommend you reach out to Intricity and talk with one of our specialists. We can be your data science team, and we can make it easy by offering it as a regular service like Intricity's customer scoring product. If you'd like to learn more about Intricity's data science as a service offering, take a look at our white paper.